Well, the gloves are off in the latest scrap between Virgin Australia and Qantas. Virgin is threatening legal action against Qantas boss Alan Joyce, accusing him of trying to ground its $350 million capital raising. Battle lines have been drawn as Qantas goes on the front foot to campaign strongly against the large presence of Air New Zealand, Etihad and Singapore Airlines on Virgin's share register. Andrew Robertson reports. The Australian airline industry has often resembled a barroom brawl and once again the punches are flying. Let me assure you that we have instructed legal advisers to act for us in dealing with this matter. What's fired up Virgin is Qantas boss Alan Joyce's accusation of a foreign takeover of Australian skies. Mr Joyce claims there are unlimited funds available to Air New Zealand, Etihad and Singapore Airlines which will weaken Qantas. He's written to Qantas's 30,000 employees seeking their support. He's launched a protest website and gone to Canberra to ram home his message to the new federal government. Virgin says it's an orchestrated campaign designed to sabotage its planned $350 million capital raising. So to say that Virgin Australia is driven by a strategy of uncompetitively low prices and irrational behaviour, I find offensive and frankly absurd. If Virgin carries through with its threat to sue Alan Joyce, it will probably be under Section 18 of the Trade Practices Act. Section 18 bans business conduct which is misleading or deceptive or is likely to mislead or deceive. It would appear that Qantas' strategy is to confuse the public at, at the very least and perhaps um, uh, erode the word Australia in the word Virgin Australia to, to an extent that people will not associate Virgin Airways with an Australian entity or an operation. Tension between Qantas and Virgin Australia has been rising since John Borghetti took over at Virgin. Mr Borghetti was passed over for the top job at Qantas when Alan Joyce was appointed, but at Virgin has aggressively taken up the battle for the skies. Under his watch, Virgin has moved up market into Qantas territory and has established a significant international presence. But just as Qantas is a formidable foe in the air, the University of New South Wales' Michael Peters thinks Virgin may also find it tough going in court where judges have set very high hurdles. There's a case, in fact, called the Taco Bell case, where the judges did exactly that. They said that people aren't really stupid to not understand uh, the difference between an American company and an Australian company. And the American company, which was portrayed in movies and television shows, was different to that of the Australian company. Of course, Virgin Australia's threats of legal action may prove to be just that. But with the two men at the centre of the spat once being rivals for the same job and now fighting each other for even higher stakes, you could be forgiven for thinking it's personal.